Hello, it is Divine Needle. My name is Nell. Yesterday I was doing a live stream and uh, there was a person that donated to the channel. Yes. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for that. That is so much appreciated. I cannot thank you enough for that. Absolutely not. Words are not enough. Absolutely not. Really means a lot to me. Uh, sorry for the hoodie, but it's really cold in this room right now. So. I might look like some drifter, I don't know. But, yeah, that's besides the point, right? Uh, I was looking at your question, and, hmm, I must say, I cannot promise you anything like that, you know. Um, Twin Flame, um, that's hard. That's really hard. But I will do a reading for you. Keep in mind, uh, Marie, it's only in the near future, not the far future. I will give you some tips at the end of this video uh, on how I find mine. Yeah. So, yeah, there you go. I shuffle this deck with your energy into it. Try to meditate on your question as well. But what this person will be like, that's, uh, that's something I cannot answer with the world. No. But, um, yeah, we'll see what energies will come your way, Marie. Once again, thank you for your donation. That is absolutely appreciated, big time. Um, I wish I could thank you more, but I cannot <laughs> through the internet. But yeah, just for that reason, I will do a reading and give you some advice on that, okay? Um, yeah. Like I said in a lot of my streams, it's all about destiny, you know? It's all about destiny. So, even all the crazy stuff going on in this world. Yeah. You can believe whatever you want, but I got big, um, big reasons to believe that that is true. Personal reasons. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was tapping into your energy and I feel uh, you are doing better. So, but we'll see what the reading says. Yeah, um, you know, let's go, let's do it, right? Let's see what comes out for Marie Doge. Doge, what kind of cool name? Doge, like the, the trucks, right? The, the cars. Marie Dodge. I already pre shuffled, but I will shuffle some more. With your energy. Yeah, I do feel you're doing better. I feel you're doing better. Maybe not emotionally, but I feel that you have given the hurts a place. That's what I feel you. Yeah. Giving it a place, car. How do you say that? Com Compartmental car. Or uh, I'm not an English talking person. Although I talk English all the time. But I never study it. No. No. I am originally from Belgium. Yes. Never got any schooling. No. Okay. Marie Dodge. I'll shuffle this deck. Really good for you. Oh, I just got chills. Chills over my body, and I'm missing this one. Is that a good sign? I do believe it is. So, getting chills. I feel it's because my spirit is connected to yours. Mm -hmm. It happens a lot. It happens a lot. Yeah, I do feel you better, but still can I? Yeah. Yeah. The sense of sadness is still lingering, I feel. But it's better. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh. 
Current situation for Marie Dodge. Current situation. Oh, okay. Two of Wands. What's the challenge with the Two of Wands for Marie Dodge? That one. Yeah, I have to pick it. Page of Wands. This camera ain't straight. This camera ain't straight. There you go. There you go. Okay. Marie Dodge. The recent past for Marie Dodge. Eight of Cups. Near future for Marie Dodge. Marie Dodge. Oh. Five of Cups. Do keep in mind, I put your question every, every reading in this. So, that's the focus around Marie Dodge. Yeah. Lovers getting chills all over. What's the advice for Marie Dodge? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll explain later. First, get these cards out. How do you see yourself or want to see yourself, Marie? In regards to your question, yep, that is exactly how you want to see yourself. How do others see you or want to see you? Hmm, just this. You're getting your share, your universal share, right? Getting your other half in your life. That's the mental I got with that. Okay, hopes and fears for Marie Dodge. Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears for Marie Dodge. Gonna be the final outcome for Marie Dodge. Page of Coins. Hmm. And bottom of the deck, Five of Wands. So, in regards to your question, I don't think uh, anytime soon. No, not in the near future. I'm sorry to say that. But uh, it doesn't look like it. No. No. I'm not gonna say forever. Not new. No. It's only the near future. Okay. Yeah, you will know that I don't sugarcoat any of my readings. And that's probably the reason why I uh, like our channel. <laughs> probably. I hope. What about the deck? Yes, Marie. Frustration, inner and outer struggle, struggling with yourself, struggling with life, perhaps struggling with this question that you have. When is my twin flame going to show up in my life? I got some good advice for that. I'll bring it later on when we get to the advice position. Okay. 
depends on your religion if you are religious or not but um, yeah I will give you some advice my point of view on the whole, the whole twin flame uh, connection thing it is real it is definitely real yeah but let's continue first the recent past yeah walking away maybe you walked away from a connection maybe somebody walked away from you this could also represent leaving behind a uh, emotion a good emotion a bad emotion definitely walking away from something yeah you will know what that is or you've been trying to walk away from bad emotions or things from the past see these cups right here empty cups I feel there was something in the past for you and it didn't serve you anymore so you walked on this could be emotions even thoughts legit a person or ev everything everything combines so yeah definitely walked away walked away from some you will know how that resonates with you current situation the presence two of wands two paths you can go down uh, I feel this is uh, in regards to your question am I gonna be alone the rest of this life or am I gonna find my twin flame right that's the situation here I feel that's a theme of yours especially with the lovers there and your focus yeah yeah you want to find your person and that is that is uh, very normal that is absolutely very normal um, it doesn't happen for everybody I'm not gonna say it doesn't have not gonna happen for you it can definitely can but yeah that's the theme right here that's a, that is the theme okay what's blocking that it's blocking this to a to a wands to a path wow there's a page of wands page of wands is all about learning as much as you can before you dive in deep okay that might mean something to you uh, it could also be a strategic approach to this whole uh, theme. Yeah. Maybe uh, there's something you must do, like maybe going out. I feel it's learning uh, to work on yourself, perhaps. Yeah. That's what I feel with this. Mm. I will get to that later, working on yourself. Um, get yourself figured out first. That's what happened to me too. I will get to that later. But it's crossing the two of wands. So that tells me there's something more you must learn. And or you must be strategic about what you want. Yeah. Perhaps this could indicate not just to wait around for this person. Actually go out and date people. Maybe you're already doing that. Could be. Yeah. Maybe you're already doing that. Hmm. But when Mr. Right comes around, you will know. You will know. You will feel it. But do keep in mind, connections, to and flame connection is not uh, an easy feat. No. You must be lucky with it. Some twin flame connections are very... Uh, easy like me and my wife it's never easy but it, it really depends on what the age is of a person what they have experienced already if especially if a twin flame connection is occurring and when both people are young I see that as uh, yeah very difficult very difficult because they want to experience more in life first like perhaps other partners drugs drinking partying you know living life to the fullest and uh yeah i feel there's also with other people other twin flame connections like what should i 
with that. Just because they are in Twin Flame connection, they know that, right? And they kind of, they kind of fall back on that. Like, say for instance, the guy treats her like crap, and the female is like letting things slide just because they are in Twin Flame connection. You know, that happens. It definitely happens. Keep that in mind. Uh, so it's not, yeah, it's not easy for everybody. Okay. It really depends where they are meeting in life. Yeah. Keep it in mind, okay. Near future for you, this card came out in your last reading as well. The Five of Cups in your near future. And this card alone in your near future tells me that uh, this Twin Flame connection it's not going to be here um, in the near future. No, I'm sorry to say that, but I, I don't feel it. I do not feel this. You might be feeling uh, a little sad over that. Okay. But we'll give you some advice. And yeah. Yeah. How you going to take that advice? I am not sure. It depends on what you believe yourself. I do hope you're not a hardcore Christian. <laughs> yeah. I am Christian born. I am baptized, all that. And I do believe in Jesus. I believe in thousands of Jesuses. Yeah. For sure. I know that's a real thing. That doesn't mean that I trust all that stuff, though. Because of my personal experiences. Okay. I'm drifting off topic here. The current focus around you, the lovers, yeah. The focus is getting that connection, the divine union. This card is all about divine union, right? You want to find that soulmate, that twin flame, that special connection in your life. That's the focus here. <sighs> yeah, I do not have to go further with that. That's exactly what it's, yeah, what it's saying. Oh, yeah, the advice for you, hangman energy, yes, first of all, this could be a warning for you, there's going to be a stagnant energy in your near future, okay, first of all, a stagnant energy, you're not going to move forward with this, okay, but it also suggests taking a step back, are looking at the big picture of all yeah and that to me explains to me what I know for a fact okay we do reincarnate okay even if you don't find this person this lifetime maybe you will find them next lifetime keep that in mind because we do reincarnate yeah, hope you don't, uh, yeah, hope that doesn't rock your boat, <laughs> so to speak, but, um, yeah, the reincarnation thing, I uh, see that as a very, very bad thing, but you can look at, a, look at it as a good thing as well, but, um, yeah, take a step back, uh, look at the big picture, and, it's a shame that we are getting mind wipes every time we go back. That might be a good reason, a bad reason. Uh, but nonetheless, we do get wipe, mind wipes. Okay. And, uh, yeah, maybe you've been together with your twin flame in previous lives. Maybe that twin flame was not as good as it's cracked up to be. Keep that in mind as well. Okay. Take a step back and look at the big picture. That's the big message here. Yeah. Mm. The big advice that I can give you. Um, but do also work on yourself. Yes. Uh, I'm pretty sure you are already doing that constantly. But for me, I. I had a real particular thing going on with me and my wife. 
before I met my wife, I was single for 15 years. Okay. I tried dating people. I tried everything. I researched. I did a relationship study big time. I learned a lot. I was doing everything textbook. I know I don't look super like a model, but I, I'm not uh, horrible as well. I was doing everything textbook. Everything. No, no lover, no, no, no. And that comes back to the destiny thing. I needed to be single to meet my wife. That is 100% the reason. Definitely. Yeah. So, to me, that was destiny, me and my wife. Meeting my wife. Yeah. At first, I recognized her on Facebook. That's one of the indications of Twin Flame. Now, at that time, I never even heard about a Twin Flame connection. It was way, way down the road when I found this out, when we found this out. Yeah. And also, we have a huge age gap going on. Yeah. That's one of the indications too, but when we are together, we, uh, we feel each other out. When she's feeling distressed or happy, I can feel it. Same way with me. If I feel bad, she can pick that up immediately. She senses it. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, there is no hiding in a twin flame connection. And I might be very sound very good, but it might. It depends on what kind of person you are. Is it really uh, something you jive with? But you know. When you feel very sad and and when your twin flame enters the room and they go like, huh, what's up with you? What's up with you? It's like a, there's no privacy in your feelings. Okay. Keep that in mind as well. And also I worked in the past when I was uh, single all these years. I worked through all my uh, bad stuff. I did drugs, I was um, drinking, partying, emotionally totally messed up. Um, all those things, I went through it, I got over it years and years before I met my wife. Okay, working on herself. Yeah, and I do feel a lot of people uh, have to do that before they even can meet there twin it does happen when they're not through that and then they come together that things go haywire okay yeah it does happen i i heard it all the time yeah people fighting cheating drug abuse you know i got through all that yeah and my wife as well she uh yeah in the past party party girl party girl you know she been to a lot as well even more so yeah not on drugs or anything not like that but bad relationships yeah and it did happen and she's um, in her late 50s now so yeah so there's still hope definitely there's always hope keep that in mind but um yeah there you go let's continue wow Okay. How do you see yourself or want, or want to see yourself? You want to see yourself with your past life lover, with your twin flame, right? This is past life, six of cups. Could also be uh, fond memories with somebody, but I totally feel this is you want to be together with your person that you are meant to be with over all these lifetimes. Yeah. How others see you or want to see you. Maybe there's some people around you that want you to get your peace. Your peace of the universal law. Yeah. Meeting your twin flame. So that does, that's, that does tell me that there's people around you who really care about you. Yeah. I care about you as well. I hope really, I hope from the bottom of my heart you will meet them soon. But it doesn't uh, show up in your reading yet. 
Okay. Yes. Your piece of universal law. Yeah, I do hope you get it. Okay. Hopes and fears. Mental rest. That's totally what I feel with this. That you can give everything a place, every hurt that you have. And you want to lay down. Yeah. Lay it down. And take that mental break. That's the bread maker. <laughs> taking a mental break. Taking a step back. Could also indicate a hope on taking a step back and cutting something out of your life. That does not work for you. This could be a behavior of yours. This could be a behavior around you. Maybe even feelings you want to cut out. But that's a hard thing to do. Yeah, very hard. And the final outcome. You have page of coins. Learning about your physical environments. Yeah. Learning about the world. Learning about yourself. Learning your feelings, perhaps. This is everything. The physical worlds, including your body. Yeah. It could even be, I don't know, learning a new skill set. Learning to... A new makeup set. <laughs> something like that, yeah. Yeah, something of that nature. It could be, take that how it resonates. Learning lies in your future. Okay. Maybe you're gonna listen to what I say and then you're gonna go deep on the topic. Yeah. Regarding your question. Yeah. But yeah, these are your two future cards. Some sadness coming your way. Could be yeah, a continuation of what has been going on with you in the past. Sorry to say that. And learning. Learning about your physical environment. Learning about yourself. Even learning, getting to know people. That could be as well. Yeah. It could be getting to know some people. So that is in your near future, Dodge. Marie Dodge, I'm sorry. And yeah, take that step back. That's the advice. And look at the big picture. Look at the universal law. You do know we are eternal beings, right? Nobody or no thing can kill us. Nothing. But they can wipe, mind wipe us. Yeah. They can keep us trapped here. Mm -hmm. But they cannot kill us. Keep that in mind too. We are forever. So I feel your time will come. Whenever it is. Keep that in your minds. Okay. We live forever. This life is not the only life. I hope maybe that comes to, as a shock to you. But I know it's a fact. I know it's a fact. You don't have to believe me. But I know. I definitely know. So, yeah. So your time will come. Maybe your time is already passed a couple of times. Yeah. yeah. And maybe you said in the end life, wow, this, oh, oh this, this is crazy. I, I don't want to go through this again. <laughs> that could be, could be. Ah, uh, yeah. Look at it from that perspective as well. Yeah. Looking at the machine, I don't even know if you can make that out. Looking at the machine. There you go, Marie. I hope you liked it. Once again, I want to thank you for your donation. That is, yeah, just beyond words. You are one of the few that actually does it. Uh, I am going to continue to reading, so, yeah, definitely, for sure. Well, thank you so much for your donation. That is, uh, yeah, I cannot express my words enough for that. Yeah. There you go. I uh, hope you got something out of this. Uh, I, I think you do. Um, I hope you're not hardcore religious. Maybe you are, but I hope you have an open mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. 
But yeah, I do feel in your reading, you are doing better. Yeah, you're doing better, which is good. I like that. Okay. So hang in there and yeah, continue to work on yourself, especially emotionally. I know that's really hard to do. But yeah. Okay, Marie. Hope to see you this evening. Gonna be streaming in a few hours. Uh, yeah. yeah, let me know how this resonates with you. Okay. Bye-bye.